I felt there were times in my life when I had, I felt like I had nothing to offer the world. And when people are talking in a, you know, a negative way, like a not nice way about somebody, like someone's internal monologue might be sometimes, mm. and they say, you know, they're, they're awful, but they have some redeeming features. Mm. Um, they have something to offer, at least sort of thing, when they're talking about someone in that unpleasant way. Like, I felt like the poems I had was something I was offering. So those poems were my redeeming features. Wicked. I was living in some hostels for a few years and uh, Damaris here, who I'd known since I was little and known all of my friends here since I was little, they just said, do you want to come and live here instead of living there? So I just said, yeah, that'll be fun, I'll do that. Hello, mate. All right. John Mate, I'm loving the stuff I followed your Instagram. Oh, thank you, man. Uh, I do some vocal warm ups. I don't know anything about the proper techniques, but I just like hum at different tones, you know, to try and warm my throat up. Ooh, uh, I should learn some proper ones, really. You all right? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, wicked. Is there a mic in there, do you know? Oh, is there? If, if not, I'll just shout it. But... Hello, mate. Hello. How you doing, all right? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, cheers. Good to see you. In the beginning, the poems were of a uh, personal and dark, dark sort of nature, you know, and it was me expressing that. And it helped me when I eventually started performing them to, to get that out. And it was something I felt I needed to do. <sighs> This one's called Horsebox Orgies! Don't attend Horsebox Orgies! It's never gonna end well! You'll find yourself trapped inside a Horsebox Orgy hell! Now, I mean, they're, they're sort of humorous, observational, like, just... Just stuff from life. Orgies in a Horsebox! Way too tight a space! There's barely room to work out what's an ass and what's a face! You know, it's not like comedy, it's not written for a punchline, it's not written to be funny. But if you're talking about like horse box orgies or worms or bed bugs or, you know, diarrhea, it, people find it funny, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sam couldn't make it to the last gig because he had diarrhea. I had diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a huge buzz, you know, so like today I was doing good, I felt good and I was having a good time with you guys. And then I did that and now I'm like, you yeah, know, feeling really good. So it's like, I do it because I want to, not because I need to anymore. I think people are in the party spirit, which is when I enjoy it the most, you know. Ooh. Yeah. It, it builds up a lot, and then it's just a huge, huge explosion. <laughs> Do not frequent horse box or G's they were terrible right there. When people mention that to me, I get the horse box fair. <laughs> it just feels great to, to let it out once you've prepped yourself like that, doing the warming up and that sort of thing. I could just go over there, yeah. I was really fortunate, you know, people in my family were like uh, good people, like I, I really uh, respect them, them all, but you know, like, like lots of people, it was not, nothing exceptional, but you know, that there was a lot of like uh, mental health and addiction and I just needed to sort of take time to become stable and, and sort out my, my mental health and uh, get, find sobriety. And like the people that knew the kind of, the demi features then, remember that what it was like but it was essentially watching someone in in crisis sh shouting on a, in front of you you know i could i could do those poems again and i may well do but they, it's not it's not like it was and i'm grateful for that because i i come out of the crisis period you know what i mean you know one of them called time out it's like time out time out taking time out to climb out of holes taller than me with no shoring it's boring sitting waiting for a breaking in the shaking but at the end it says, you know, tomorrow ain't worth dying about, flying is worth rhyming about. And that, that's, the, that's the message. If there is one of redeeming features for me, even to myself, is, you know, tomorrow ain't worth dying about, flying is worth rhyming about. That's what it's about for me. Those poems that might seem dark, but they were 
they were about rebuilding. You know. Fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Redeeming features, everybody. Yeah!